in this video, I'm going to show a new spline interpolation function called an, the Akima spline that was recently added to Data Curve Fit Creator Add-in. Data Curve Fit Creator Add-in is an add-in from Microsoft Excel that adds curve fitting, interpolation, uh, data smoothing and noise reduction, and other data management functions to Excel. It's created by SRS1 Software LLC, and you can download it from, from www.srs1software.com. So the new spline interpolation function, as I said, is the Akima spline. And compared with a cubic spline, the Akima spline does a, in general does a more local sort of a interpolation. So it stays tighter to the data, but it can be less smooth than the cubic spline. And we're going to show you uh, some examples of that right now. So in order to show you that, first I'm going to create some source data that we can work with. And so I'm just going to create that now. I'm going to create 10 data points. And to start off, we're going to make it just sort of a smooth curve. And then we'll change that around to see the effect on the interpolation. So this is our initial data set that we're going to be interpolating through. Let me go and create a plot so we can take a look at that. I'm going to just change that label here, call it source. We know that that's the source data. And now I'm going to do the interpolation. So first thing, I'm going to get my sampling x values. Now the source data that we're using goes from 1 to 10. So I'm going to start a little bit before that and go a little bit after that to 11 and go in steps of 0 0.1 so we can see the behavior of the uh, spline interpolation all throughout. So first I'm going to calculate the cubic spline for this. And as you see, I have data curve fit creator add-in already installed. And it's, uh, as you can see, and to do the cubic spline interpolation, I can go to the function wizard, go to the data curve fit creator function group, choose cubic spline. Uh, it will ask for the source data x values. So I'll choose those and I'll hit F4 to make that make sure that those are absolute references because I'm always going to be referencing using the same source data. Next, I'll choose the Y values, hit F4 to get the dollar signs to make it absolute reference. And now I'll choose my uh, new X value. And I'll double click to copy that down and I have my cubic spline interpolation. Let me go and just add that now to the plot. can just uh, copy, paste special, and say uh, the x values in the first column. And I'm going to change the formatting of that, make it just a line. Okay. And I will also add a legend because we're going to be adding some more. We want to be able to keep those, keep those straight. So I've got my source data, cubic spline. Now I'm going to add the Akima spline. And again, go to the function wizard, source data, F4, make it an absolute reference, source data Y, new X value, double click, and now I've got my Akima spline fit there. And I can grab that and add that to the plot. Try that one more time. A special uh, X values in the first column. Change the formatting, and I've got that. I'm going to add one more as well. We have another type of spline called the Bessel spline. And again, I can choose that there, Bessel spline from the Data Curve Creator 
function group. And again, I'm going to get the source x, source y, and the new x value here. And I will copy that down and add this to the plot as well. Base special x values in the first column and change the formatting. Okay, so now I've got my three types of spline interpolation. Now for this initial data set, the initial data set that I made is pretty smooth. So they all kind of go on, are, are almost on top of each other. The three interpolations are all pretty similar. But if I change the data set around, let's say I make a big spike in the middle of it, then you'll see really the differences between the uh, types of spline interpolations. So I'm going to take the middle value and I'm going to make that spike up to 100. And now you can see the differences in the behavior between the three different types of splines. Notice down here, the, the cubic spline, this has a bunch of overshoot, and you see this these sort of oscillations that, that last for a couple of uh, points throughout. The, uh, the In gray, the Akima spline stays much tighter to the data, and you don't really see uh, beyond that uh, spiked point a whole lot of uh, a change there compared with the cubic spline, and the Bessel spline is sort of in between. So you can see that there are you know, three different types of splines with different types of behavior, which is correct. It, there is no correct value. It just is a matter of what your source data is and what you're trying to do with it, and whichever best meets your needs. But having the different types of interpolations available, you can try them all out, and you can see, and, and, and uh, having more than, well, having a bunch available makes it much more likely that you find an interpolation that meets your needs and works well for you. So uh, one last thing that I think we can do is let's just zoom in on the uh, on at this point so we can see a little bit clearer the behavior of the three different types of splines. And again, just zoomed in on this point. Again, you see the Akima spline has almost almost no overshoot. Just goes right back from that uh, from that spiked point. The cubic spline has a lot of overshoot and the Bessel spline is sort of in between. So that's what we wanted to uh, demonstrate for you. You can uh, try this out. You can download Data Curve Fit Creator add-in from www.srs1software.com. It comes with a fully functional 30-day trial so you can try it out and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.